Now that Audacity is open, the first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate. So I click on here, Control D, and I want to mute him. I don't want him to play. So I have him, and I go to Track, make sure he's sync locked. You see the little clock here. So when I edit something, if I take here and I delete, it will happen to both of them. I kind of have this as my emergency. In case I do something really poorly up here, I always can go back down to here and apply it back up here. I go through and I find anything that's really high. This section right here is really out of proportion of anything else. If there was a lot this way, I would probably leave it alone, but because there's one, or if there was like a clip, like a clicking sound right here, I would delete it out. I just delete that click sound. But because he is five, he's just loud, I will go through and highlight a high section here, play it, and I see it's about negative eight. So I'm going to take him, highlight him, go to normalize, and I'm going to normalize him down to about negative seven. We'll let him be a little strong. So now about everything's the same. Now after that, I will go through and I will do noise removal. Always do noise removal at first. I'm going to listen to it. Okay, there's a little bit of noise and I can just clean that up. So I want to take it. I'll do a whole lesson on noise removal. I want to get my profile. And then I don't want to do that. I just want to do it to this one right here. And I can just go repeat noise removal and it will clean up all the noise on this track. Now when I listen to it, you'll see you'll actually see that there's no noise. Next thing I do is I actually take it and I normalize the whole thing to about negative three. The reason I do this is to make all my files about the same level when I do my EQing and leveling. If you have them at different levels, it won't apply as equally and as well. After that, I go through and I will do EQing. So effects, equalization, I'll adjust the EQing, check it out, see how it sounds, maybe the name of the person's name, and then I hit OK and I apply EQ to here. After that, I go into Leveler. Leveler is really a capander. A capander will expand the lower levels and compress the higher levels. You need to, one reason I want to clean out the noise here is so we don't push the noise up. But here I typically take it, I will do it maybe moderate, and it will level things out some. Uh, you can use a compressor if you're an advanced user, and it will do a better job than maybe the leveler. But this will level things out. The last thing I do then is I go through and I normalize the whole thing up to negative one. Now it's all at a good level. I do all these effects and everything um, to make sure when I'm listening through the file, if I hear anything strange that might have been introduced during the effects, I always can go down to here and get my original, paste it up, make the changes to clean it up to be the same so that it all works together. Make sure you hit save, control S, you save your file there. And now I'm going to start from the beginning and I'm going to go to home. Oh, to do all those effects, you can go in and you can make a chain and apply a chain. And I'll do another lesson to show you how to do that. So I go to the home and I listen through it. Genesis chapter one. Okay. One. Okay. So the first thing I do is I make sure that there's about a two second space here. So it's 1.5. So I'll maybe grab about a half a second. Control C, click, Control V. In case there's some noise there, I just want to make sure that it's being consistent. So it's about two seconds. Now the next thing I do is I'm going to put labels, Control B, and I'm going to go 01. And I'm actually going to take this guy and move him up. So he's here. I'm going to use my scroll to scroll down. And now I'm going to listen through. One. Blah, 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 blah. So let's say if that's verse 2, you decide how much time you want to spend on putting labels. Control B, 
O2. You might just want to do it at the major sections right here at verse 5. So before 5 here, control B, I go O5, and then you might go down here and go control B, 10. Decide on how you want to do it. If you're going to be chopping it up by verses later on for like an Audi Bible or a Mega Voice, make sure you put the verses in now. But you want to listen through and say that that space was not tight enough. You want to go in, delete it, bring it down. Okay, I got rid of my 2 there, so I want to control B, O2. You want to adjust things that say that's too big there. If you need to add a space, if you need to, if something's really loud or soft, you might need to change the amplification of it. But you want to listen through, play through the whole thing, and clean things up. If there's here, big breath, if you don't want that big breath there, uh, you have to make the decision if you're going to take all the breathing out. So control L will silence that. So we go through blah, 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 blah. and make sure it sounds natural. It's better to keep the breathing in there blah, 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 blah. than to have it sound unnatural. But the main thing that you want to do is make sure that there's clarity. Um, rather leave a little bit of extra noise in there, a little bit of spacing or something, but clarity is what you want when you're listening to this. So now I hit Control S. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to export, okay, to my masters. I was already doing this before, so I'm going to save it to here. Yes, I'm going to override it. And then I can go in and I can also export, sorry, click the wrong one. I can export my labels. I happen to have one already made for there. I'm going to override it, and so I can export my labels into the masters. In another lesson, I'll show you how to process many of these files at one time to turn them into MP3s.